All right, welcome back to Denison scripting tutorial videos. Um, it's been a while since I've created the first one, and I just realized that I had 1,100 views and a ton of comments requesting more videos. So I decided I would go ahead and make a new one. Um, I want to cover some of the really basic things that will help get you started in creating a quest, which is what most people use Denison for. Um, this video is going to cover using a chat trigger and using multiple steps, or at least lay the groundwork for multiple steps. And by the third video, we should be able to have a fully functional gathering quest. Um, the script you see on the screen right now is essentially the same as the script we made in the first video, but I changed the chat a little bit to be the intro to our quest which is the NPC is going to need some help. Um, we set up the click trigger and gave it these commands to use when the click trigger is activated. Um, and so the next step is being able to allow the player to respond to the NPC's question. So in the same step node, um, in this case it's just step one, we need to have a chat trigger. The chat trigger is exactly what it sounds like. Um, it is a trigger that fires when a certain message is entered into the chat within a certain range of the NPC. I believe the default range is set inside of your config file. I think it's five blocks. So, you know, when you're close to the NPC within talking distance, it reads your chat and looks for triggers. Um, so chat triggers are slightly different. You need to um, differentiate them because you can have multiple chat triggers in the same step so we can respond to multiple words. Um, to do so, it's just like the way we named our step up here. We're just going to call this chat trigger one and it's inside the node of the chat trigger. Um, later on, I may cover your ability to use sorry, strings in the naming of steps and triggers, but for what I do, I always use numbers. Um, so each chat trigger has a trigger in it, uh, key and a script key. Um, the trigger key is where you define the word that triggers. In this case, since you're answering, can you help me? We're going to have the word yes be the trigger. Um, I included it in forward slashes because that defines the actual trigger phrase. Um, outside of it, um, you can type other things. In this case, I will help you, um, which will be displayed in the chat when the um, trigger fires, but isn't required for the player to say. So in this case, the player only needs to say the word yes. He does not need to say I will help you, um, but that will be displayed in chat to make it look more fluid. Um, and then just like a click trigger, a chat trigger has um, a script node that defines what happens. Um, I'm going to get back to that one in a second after I show you how to do a second chat trigger. Um, whoops. We're going to go back to line up right here. Um, Chat trigger number two. It also gets a trigger and a script. Um, in this case, the trigger is going to be no. I'm too busy. And the script will be simple chatting to the player and will say, Oh darn, come back if you have some spare time. So, pretty straightforward. If the player says no, it says, No, I'm too busy. And the NPC responds with, come back later. You know, basic questing for RPG style stuff. Um, so, <clears throat> the next thing that's important is we need to define what happens when you say yes. And there's one key difference between yes and no. Um, he's still going to respond with something. In this case, we're going to say, oh, great. Um, let me capitalize it. Oops. Oh, great. I need 10 gold bars. 
So that's what the quest is going to be. Go gather 10 gold bars. Um, we're going to wait for one second. Uh, chats. In the back Um, oh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, the, the key difference between yes and no is that the yes is going to change the quest step with the command zap. Zap will just switch steps for you. In this case, we are changing to step two. Um, we haven't defined step two yet. That's the next thing we're going to cover, but... The, the important thing is, is that when you say yes, it switches from step one to soon to be step two. And that's defined by this argument here. So you have this zap command, and then you have an argument called step, which you then define the value as two. So it's zapping to step two. A lot of commands have the arguments with the values just like this. You'll see this an awful lot. It'll make more sense when you use it a couple dozen times. But for the sake of this, this command right here just changes from step 1 to step 2. Now we need to define step 2. So we come down here, um, and we line up in our step node, one, ind one indent, which is four spaces. And we line up with 1, and we define step 2. And just like step 1, it has a click trigger, and the click trigger has a script node. In the script node, in this case, we're going to say this is the second step. Um, so, the way that steps work is you're ever only on one step of a script. By default, you're on step one. Um, and then you progress through them or go backwards through them depending on how the script is set to flow. Um, this script will have a total of three steps when we finish, um, but for the sake of this video, I just wanted to show how you would have two different steps and how you would have chat triggers. Um, just to clarify what the two different steps are, <coughs> and when you go up to the NPC with this script assigned and you interact with them, you're going to right click on them and it's going, your assignment script is going to say, oh, go look at example script. And then it goes to example script and it says, okay, it was a click trigger. What step am I on? And it says, oh, it's been zapped to step two. So it goes to step two and then fires this click trigger as opposed to this click trigger. Um, that all sounds kind of diluted, but essentially when you when you um, zap to a different step, it essentially will bypass the other steps and only fire triggers contained in the step you're on. Um, you can have all of the triggers in every one of the steps. So you could have, I think there's four or five triggers. Um, and if that fires, it'll only fire the one that's contained in the step you're currently on. Um, it'll probably make a little bit more sense when I do the third video, which will close up this questing process with this basic quest, um, and I'm out of thought. Um, so that's the gist of this video. I really just want to cover the chat trigger and give you the very basics of the steps. Um, if you get this far and you want to proceed before I make another video, um, you can always stop at the Denison Dev. Um, IRC chat room that's located on Esper. Um, we got Matt right here, we got me, we got Morph, we got McMonkey over here. There's a lot of people who will be willing to help you. Um, you know, even Alf's in there occasionally. <laughs> He's always busy, that's still a volume. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to try to make videos often. And if you're lucky, I might just go ahead and make this third video right now just to get rid of, to cover this entire script and have it finished for you guys. Thanks for watching.